I don't think he's uh, played as well that as he's capable of playing. It just seems like he's misjudged the ball a couple times. Sometimes it's hard picking up the ball in day games um, with the wind and the way that the ball's carrying and, and the weather. Um, he's a good center fielder, and, and he's going to play a good center field for us. Uh, Chad. <clears throat> So I'm sure him Castro hitting second today is a lot because of the lefty. But yes. with what he's done, I mean, what do you think about ways you could use him in a variety of ways? If he's going to hit like this, it seems like he gives you a guy you could plug in really anywhere in the lineup. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I could probably plug him in a lot of different places. Um, you know, the great thing is this: if you're getting that much production from the bottom of the order, what must the guys be doing in front? And I and I think to judge. You know, people real harshly in 11 games, I, to me, seems, you know, kind of silly. Um, you know, I think I saw Ben Zobris was in an 0 for 22, and um, um, there was someone else, a, a predominant player, was an 0 for 16. I'm thinking, wow, you know, I really haven't heard about their 0 for. I tend to hear about ours because I'm here every day. But you, you don't make too much of the first month, the first 50, 75, 100 at bats. You see where guys go after that. But I mean, if he's being extremely productive and some of the guys are not, the other guys, I mean, it makes sense to move him up.